Okay, so I think we can start with today's workshop. So it's a pleasure for us to host this workshop at WNE 2023. Uh, we will uh, show you uh, so the workshop that we prepared today, which is named Surprises are for Birthdays, not for Complex Project, how digital twins can reveal the unexpected. But before starting, let me introduce myself and my co-speaker, uh, Ekaterina, that we will host the workshop today. So I'm Ricardo Cocci, data scientist at a system, and I'm working uh, on generative artificial intelligence applied to the design of digital twins, and I have a PhD in nuclear engineering from the French Atomic Energy Commission. Please, Ekaterina, introduce yourself. Thank you, Ricardo. Hello, everybody. Welcome to WNE and a system workshop. My name is Ekaterina. As a digital project manager, I'm overseeing the digital initiatives across the Middle East. Currently, I am involved in the PQM digital twin implementation at NOM in Saudi Arabia. So, glad to have you here. So, Ricardo, we can start our journey. Yes. Uh, so, I propose you to uh, dive into the context of this workshop, which is the massive workload that we will have ahead in the future, in the near future, worldwide. Why? Because we have around 60 new nuclear reactors under construction worldwide right now, as we are speaking, and 100 more to come. And when we talk about 100 more new nuclear reactors to be built, we talk about also on nuclear installations like for the fuel, for the dismantling, and so on. So that's a massive amount of work, and that's how we idealize it. So we are the traveler, we are at the top of the mountain, we should go in, into the valley where all the new reactors are present, and we have a path uh, ahead of us. So, how can we answer the, 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 the surprises that we can find along the path? Actually, digital is a part of the answer that can help us to mark out the path of future projects. And that's why, uh, that's that's because digital solutions, especially for complex projects, are more and more mature and accessible for industries uh, worldwide. So those are just a few examples, like we have augmented and virtual reality. You can check right now, like on Amazon, for virtual reality casks, uh, it's uh, more and more accessible than five years ago. Then we have the platforms for product lifecycle management, which are very mature, and that uh, are basically in every industry, from aeronautics to nuclear. And then we have data science, analytics, artificial intelligence, which is a domain that is, is, that is basically skyrocketing since a few years. And then it is more accessible to everybody, open source, with the confidentiality of data, which is more and more respected. And everything of that, so the rapid development of those technologies, uh, actually uh, has led us to a new definition, which is the definition, the concept of digital twin, which is a true and actual lever for productivity and project risk mitigation. So, uh, why I'm talking about that? Because uh, we want, in this workshop, to demystify what a digital twin means. So, let's go from the concept to the reality. First of all, we should understand that a digital twin uh, can have different forms, and that depends on the face of the project uh, where we are in, so basically from the design to the dismantling of the nuclear facility, and it, depend, it depends on the context of the project and the object to be represented. Then we have the tailoring of a digital twin. So a digital twin answers specific project issues, and we should tailor a digital twin to this specific use case or this specific business process. And then a digital twin is something that is evolutive. That's because we build it up gradually along with the project. So from the design to the dismantling. So at the system, we address and we see digital twins as an ensemble of three main pillars. Business processes, interconnected environment of digital tools, and models and data of the architecture. So business processes are basically, um, for example, um, the requirement structure, the requirement management, interface management, and so on. Then we have an interconnected environment of digital tools. And at the system, we have a very deep knowledge of the architecture, of the functional architecture of the main tools like BEAM or PLM. 
And then in the end, we have models and data of the architecture that we build along with the client through the help of the client. And that's the real true value at the system that we bring with our offer of Digital Twin. So we have uh, already data available that we can use and moreover models and architecture to, to build. So uh, in order to do that, we need an overall uh, methodology. And if we want to deliver a digital twin, that's basically the urbanization of business information system based on modeling. So we have to uh, urbanize that. And we have four analytical uh, layers. So the first one is the business layer, where we specify the business processes that we are going to address with our digital twin. And in order to do that, we need a deep knowledge of the nuclear domain. And since we have 60 years uh, of experience in that domain, we are able to help you in defining those business processes. Then we go into the detail. So the second uh, layer, which is the functional architecture and uh, also the specification of the detail of the business processes. And then we have the third one, which is the software architecture. So which digital tools to use to build this digital twin and how they are interconnected. So basically, how we can uh, interoperate those digital tools based on their uh, functional analysis. And then we have the fourth layer, which is the, uh, the technical architecture. Uh, which is, uh, we can do that in through several methodologies, but that's not really the domain of expertise of a, a system. So with this end-to-end -end methodology, we are able to address and prepare the digital twin through those three uh, layers. So let's go into the demonstration of this workshop, so our use case, uh, which is the construction of a pump room, which is a complex engineering installation. And uh, I propose to you to um, first um, explain how and what are the business processes that this, this digital twin address. And then we go in the technical part to, thanks to the help of Ekaterina. So how do we deliver a digital twin for this very specific use case, which is the field uh, inspection? So how we improve field inspections in the construction phase. And this is based on real inspection issues that a system encountered on actual project. So it's based on experience. So we are at the end of the design phase. We already have the 3D model of the, of the pump room. We have the requirements, the contracting, everything is ready. We start the construction phase. And we want to perform, for example, quality assurance. We want to perform field inspection. How a digital twin can help us? So we define, first of all, the business processes to be addressed. For example, recorded test execution procedure, the preparation and the realization of the, of the actual test, the site nonconformity report registration, and then if any nonconformities are found, well, we can run an impact analysis in the digital twin. In order to do that and to answer those business processes, we selected four digital tools to interconnect as the base of the digital twin. So we will use product lifecycle management, and we will use the 3D experience, the platform for PLM from Dassault system. Then we will use Unifier for the contract management tool. And basically, this is from, from, from Primavera. And we, will, we uh, are using, for this very specific digital twin, two a systems assets, which are Citex and Oloreca. Citex for uh, report generation, field report generation, and Oloreca for augmented reality. And then we have, of course, models and data, as I told you. We have the 3D mockup, pump room requirement structure, and also the structure of the contracts in Unifier. So uh, in order to do that, we need an end-to-end -end business processes. So the first three layers that I specified to you uh, like two minutes ago, and the associated tools, functional architecture. So before going deep into the, te the technical solutions, let me just show you this is the, all the preparatory work that is before the deployment of the digital twin. So for example, here we start from the stakeholders need and expectation. We can model also the, um, 
the businesses, so the contracting, the designing, the inspection, and we can see the flow of data and information throughout the process. And this is the third layer, for example, as such as the software architecture. So we have the, PL the PLM platform, the contracting platform, Citex, and Oloreca. So I don't want to annoy you anymore. And I let, the, I let the flow to Ekaterina, which will guide us into the technical solutions of this digital twin. Thank you, Ricardo, for this introduction. And you're absolutely right. Through this demo, we would like to show you how we address a set of use cases and how we build a tailored digital twin. Mm, so, uh, and this digital twin is composed by four digital solutions that you, you will see during the presentation. Uh, picture this, we would like to conduct inspection of the valves of the pump room for one of the NPP construction project. But how to make this process not only efficient but smarter that's where our tailored digital twin solution, coupled with a system engineering expertise, takes the central stage. So, for digital twin to support the site inspection activities, we start from the PLM platform. But it's not just a platform, this is a brain of 3D models of the pump room crafted from the data that we gather during the design stage. So, but uh, we would like to reach the data integration and data traceability. The developed API connectors ensure the seamless flow of data from the PLM platform to the contract management software, delivering operational data and field insight. But the backward integration is equally important. We need to be sure that the decisions in project management and in the contract management are seamlessly reflected in the PLM platform. As we already said, the field inspection starts from the PLM platform. So, uh, we need to be sure that uh, the project data, design data, operational data are integrated in the site exp solution. So, uh, once we started from the PLM platform, then the quality control request is sent to the operator, which is equipped uh, by the tablet. Through site exp solution, he can access all the necessary information. Then, once access the site exp, the operator is ready to conduct inspection, making use of the Olerica solution. In our video, the operator performs the inspection through augmented reality. What is interesting here, the 3D design is absolutely the same that you saw before in the PLM platform. So, Alarica solution enables operator to visualize, test pump room equipment and valve installation. So, uh, it covers a wide range of operational types with more than 12 modules. By the way, by our clients' feedback, using the Olerica solution for some of their activities, it happens 10 times faster than the standard inspection method. Okay, let's focus on the results of the inspection. In the event of the non-conformities, the site exp gathers all the test results to generate a comprehensive report. This report includes all the critical data of, no, of non-conformities. But that's not the end. Site exp is flexible. It allows for the seamless export of the inspection report to the client's format, whether PDF or Excel sheet or any preferred formats that deliver the information in a way that suits the client. Let's loop back to the non-conformities. 
to report and to manage these non-conformities, the connector facilitates the flow of data from site exp back to the PLM platform. It ensures that any reported quality issues are promptly reflected in PLM. These connectors form the backbone uh, of the data exchange process because it links the core digital twin platform with the field operational tool. So it enables real-time data flow between the virtual representation and 3DX and the field data captured and managed inside EXP. One of the advantages of this approach is the opportunity to conduct the impact analysis. So the synchronization of the data from the design stage assists in managing the change actions and identifying, uh, and identifying the impacted components. All of them you can see at the screen now. So for sure, all these benefits can be reached by different tools, different solutions independently, but without a deep knowledge of end-to-end -end business processes and the modeling of detailed processes, it will merely be just a digital solution. At the system, we combine our engineering expertise with functional knowledge of the digital tools to advocate, advocate sorry, for system engineering. So if you have any technical questions, don't hesitate to visit our system booth and to meet our team of exceptional technical experts. Now I'll let Ricardo to summarize our approach for digital field inspections. Thank you, Ekaterina. It was very, very interesting. Uh, so uh, just a few more minutes. Let me just uh, summarize and do a wrap up of what we see. So we uh, uh, realized a digital twin. We tailored a digital twin to a very specific use case, which is the use case of field inspections in the construction phase. And first of all, we interconnected a PLM platform with a contracting platform. Uh, so that's the system and Primavera. And uh, we, where the procurements are scheduled and the contracts are seen. Then we want to perform a quality control. So we send a quality control request to the operator, which is on the field. And thanks to uh, SiteXP, and the operator is equipped with a tablet, he can see all the data, how to perform the inspection, what is, uh, what is the, the need of the inspection. And he can perform the inspection through virtual reality, which speeds up this whole process. Uh, starting back from Olorica, if it identifies the quality issue, it can fill out with the results of the inspection the Citex report, and the Citex report in then is then sent back to the digital platforms for PLM and contracting, and we can run an impact analysis and see what to do and try to take decision, and then do a contract adjustments. So just a last slide for the key messages that this workshop uh, brings with, uh, with them. So, first of all, what is a digital twin? In more in general, digital twins provide a single source of truth and numerical continuity to increase what efficiency, enhance safety, reduce costs, and moreover, save time. Then, if we want to mitigate the unpleasant surprises that we can see uh, in the path ahead, so from the top of the mountain down to the valley, as I show you in the first slide, a digital twin can be a powerful level to do so. If we want to deploy an operational digital twin, it's necessary to go back to the business cases that we want to address and announce existing, already existing data, as we did in the pump room case. And at the system, we are well, we are well, placed, well placed to support you in doing that so enhance your data and tailor your own digital twin. So this is how we conceptualize this uh, help from digital technologies. So we are still from the top of the mountain. We have a nuclear future ahead of us. And this is worldwide. And we can use digital. And we see it as a digital bridge that, we, um, that will help us to avoid the unpleasant surprises along the path.
So we thank you very much for the attention. If you have any question, we are just in the small room here, or you can wait. Or we, you can visit us at our booth, where we have also demo for augmented reality, virtual reality, and so on. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.